Mid-range phones usually wait at the back of the line for big software updates, but not this time. The Galaxy A56 just made a surprising leap into Samsung's One UI 8 development pipeline, and if things go as expected, it could beat some flagships to the finish line. Welcome back, viewers. James here. If you're into these fast, paced Galaxy scoops, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your fellow tech lovers. Now, let's talk about what's actually happening. One UI 8, Samsung's next big Android skin based on Android 16, has been spotted in development for the A56, even before Samsung finishes up with the S24 and Fold 6 lineup. That's not just unexpected, that's unprecedented. Usually, mid-range devices get the leftovers. But now Samsung seems to be rewriting the rules. The A56 isn't just getting the new interface. It's also part of Samsung's promise of six major Android updates, and this is just the first. With a sleek design, efficient performance, and AI baked in, One UI 8 is meant to make your phone feel faster, smarter, and way more personal. And here's where things get more interesting. Google's Android 16 rollout timeline runs from June to August 2025 in the US, and Samsung is clearly trying to stay ahead of the curve. While the current beta is locked to the Galaxy S25 series, the A56 already being in internal testing suggests that's that Samsung's software team is working in parallel across multiple tiers, not just for show but for speed. But don't expect a public beta for the A56 just yet. Samsung might skip it entirely and go straight to the stable release which ironically could get it into user hands faster than phones still waiting for beta approval. And that's a smart move. Less testing noise, more polished rollout. Meanwhile, let's not forget what's happening on the flagship side. After being left in the shadows for weeks, the Galaxy S24 series is finally showing signs of progress with One UI 8. Firmware for the S24 Ultra's international version has been spotted, signaling that Samsung hasn't forgotten about its most loyal users. Even if the S25 series is leading the beta, the S24 is slowly catching up and it's likely in line for a Q3 release. That said, there's still no word on whether the Galaxy S24 FE will be included. Samsung's update policy might skip the fan edition in the early rounds, but that could change depending on how the stable rollout goes. Now here's the twist that gamers will love. One UI 8 is adding two sneaky, good features to the Game Booster app that might just save you hours. First up, pre-downloading game data. Ever installed a game only to wait through a multi-gigabyte download before you can play? Yeah, we've all been there. One UI 8 fixes this by quietly pulling in those extra files while your phone is idle, plugged in, and on Wi-Fi. You pick the game, it does the work in the background. Second, Samsung's optimizing the startup animation sync. Normally, a game's intro runs before it's actually ready, wasting your time. Now, the animation speed aligns perfectly with the real loading time. When the intro ends, your game is ready to go. It's smoother, faster, and just feels better. These game booster upgrades aren't available to everyone yet, they're tied to version 7.0, 51.33, and will likely go live either through the stable One UI 8 release or upcoming beta updates. But once you get them, you won't want to go back. Looking at the big picture, Samsung isn't just improving software, they're changing how software updates are delivered. Mid-range phones getting early builds, smarter AI features rolling out across the board, tighter Google integration, and a strategy that feels less like guesswork and more like long-term planning. And if you think One UI 8 is just a light visual refresh, think again. It's part of a bigger shift toward meaningful upgrades that improve your everyday experience from battery life to personalization to background performance to how your phone literally predicts your next move. The A56 getting One UI 8 this early. That's not just exciting, it's symbolic. It means every Galaxy user, not just flagship fans, is finally getting a front row seat to Samsung's software future. So what do you think? Is Samsung finally treating all devices equally? Would you upgrade for these features? or wait it out, drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, tap that like, share it around, and subscribe to stay ahead of what's next in the galaxy world. Until next time, stay curious, stay sharp, and peace out.